He said the starter actually exploded inside. Waiting for these two cars to arrive. Not sure what cars they are. I like to keep it a surprise. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens. starter for the 450 SEL. Uh, Lewis knows a shop down in Pompano that rebuilds starters so we couldn't get a new version of our starter. We're going to go have ours rebuilt. Take a left. 95 right? Yes. That's pretty much all there is to it. We can't replace our starter so we're getting one rebuilt. So the 6.9 engine, uh, is that a fairly rare engine? What do you say Bradley? <laughs> give, us a, give us a bit more insight like why is the 6.9 engine so Interesting. I'm no historian, but I mean it's a 6.9 liter V8. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's very big, it's a but massive uh, engine. I don't know. Red Pig gives you a little bit of context. They had two versions, so a 6.3 and a 6.9. That's when they, like AMG, first put a huge V8 in a luxury vehicle and went racing with it. And it was so prominent and successful that they replicated it in the follow-up uh, S-Class series. In this case, it's the W116. And um, yeah, it was well received. I mean, it, it, it's kind of like the first. So the American equivalent would be putting a V8 into a mid-size sedan. And they're just putting a huge, huge engine, even bigger than what is readily available, into a luxury sedan. I love these vehicles, that's what I do. So if we ever have another starter go bad, because we could not find these starter solenoids anywhere. Like, we were just having the hardest time with it. So when we found this company, we asked them how many they had. They're like, we got a whole handful here. We're just like, we'll take them all. You know, we don't want to have to deal with this again. I want Mercedes Benz. Yes, sir. Yeah. Once if I can get it rebuilt. I might have one of those stock. Let me check on that. <gasps> See, that's awesome. what I said. Stock anymore. We used to stock it years ago. We don't stock it anymore. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'd have to rebuild that one. I would have it ready for you tomorrow on your cost of 179. Perfect. Right. Sounds good. Oh, God. Hey, my AC broke down here. Oh, uh, it won't work. It's hot. Yeah. Do you want me to bring over the 230 or uh, the C43? C43 first. Yeah, it's C43. Yeah. Uh, just move that truck out of there. Yeah. He's ready. So that way I can get him in That's the new center? Yes, sir. Get the O2 sensor, that's it. Okay. And then we'll figure it out. So, the only thing missing for this car is the O2, O2 sensor? sensor the bumper, the latch, and. What is going on today? We got a new exhaust for the Fintail. This thing has sounded like a hot rod since I started working here. And what it's been, it just rusted through on the uh, resonator. I'm pulling it out now, I'm fighting with it. Been fighting with it all morning. And the last part is just these headers right here. These pipes are just like rusted shut. So I'm about ready to break out a torch and try and knock the pipes loose. It's an exhaust kind of weak. Um, we've got the full exhaust out of the 220. We were pulling, we were doing a whole bunch of work to this thing. Uh, we were pulling in the uh, windshield and freaking, I guess the uh, rope we were using was too small or. Maybe we just pulled a little too hard and the seal ripped. So we're getting another one in. Uh, we ended up needing some parts for the brakes that we didn't have. So pushed it off the lift. We got the 450 SEL on the lift. Turns out the shop couldn't rebuild the starter. Um, they're like, dude, it just like exploded internally. Hello? It no, finally it exploded. Oh my God, it exploded uh, inside. The good news is I can get you a, a factory remanufacturer replacement for this thing. Um, but it's expensive, 269 is your cost. I should be able to get it in here for you in a couple days. Um, but it, it works, yeah. So they're getting us another starter, and then that won't be off the lift. So 
This long pipe is for the 220, and then these thicker pipes are for my C43. Get the shine back, get it popping, bring some clarity back to the, the right. Like later on, you can go it's back crazy. and like make it perfect, yeah, but yeah. for it's now, right you now. just need to like keep it moving. Yeah, exactly. You know, and the thing is, too, there's always levels to paint correction. Like when you do a test spot, for example, you get like a client's car, or whatever the case. You do a test spot where you have like, you like one like, pad, right? And then you have your like two pads and then your like perfected level. You know what I'm saying? And then you go and be like, all right, which level, how do you want it? You go. See that? So I'm gonna come to, this is basically gonna be like the, the half. So I'll have this side done. Yeah. And then this side will still be, that way you be can all swelled up. Cut everything out but these primary pipes. So they lose already now? Yeah. So they, they won't come out, right? They will not come out. You got two options. Or you try to bang it like that, or you're gonna have to take the, the exhaust manifold completely out. Oh, I'm not about that. So, um, it is your call, baby. I'm gonna keep banging. You gotta just try to bang it that way, you know? Mm -hmm. Even though if you crack it and make a hole, okay. Yeah. I mean, even, I mean, if you wanna cut it, cut it, and grab a couple, you know, vice grips, mm -hmm. and then just twist it up and down, up and down. That worked pretty well for me on um, yeah. the rest of the exhaust. Yeah, it's the only way. And then for heat, would you heat up this guy or no, heat this part? No, heat this part right here. Okay. And you heat it up right here. Victory! Interesting car we refer to as the Alex Fiasco car. Interesting history. So it actually came with different bumpers and all of that. We had like an AMG Gen 1 kit on it. Pretty nice and all, but uh, so it turns out this car was donated at some point. Like Goodwill or like you can donate a car for tax reasons and whatnot. And it was praised to us as like some special, special AMG visual kit car and sold us for over $15,000. Anyways, car shows up, headlight is broken, all that stuff, you know. We're just infuriated and it's been just sitting for months. We're like, what do we do with it? Do we trash it? But um, funny enough, one of my favorite engines, M103, so we're gonna just turbo it. See where it goes. Probably gonna do quite some damage. Uh, I think I'm pretty excited to show you guys what we're doing and how we're doing it. Very different turbo build from what you usually see. I mean, turbo bandit is kind of the A and O for all these type of builds. We have some of their parts, but we're going a bit of an alternative route, so stay, stay tuned for that. Right now I'm just waiting for approval on this S73 W140 Brabus from the UAE. Just won it at the auction. We're just waiting to see if the seller approves the price, because you know, some guys might have a reserve in their mind. But yeah, just another one to add to the fleet, man. Brabus, Brabus boys. Right now it's a Tuesday, rainy day in Florida. We're just uh, moving some cars around. I'm trying to clear up the showroom and make it more presentable and also more accessible because all the cars have just been stuffed in here for so long. Every few months, we gotta revamp the whole place. So doing that right now, moving the Brabus Maybach as we speak, waiting for these two cars to arrive. I'm not sure what cars they are. I like to keep it a surprise. So stay tuned, let's see what happens. We got the Brabus safe in the back. How many of you guys got a Brabus safe in your car? So, all right, so let's get these SLs over there. So this is all open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we couldn't find it. We didn't know where it was in Europe. We looked for it yesterday, actually, and then it was here the whole time. 
Which one had a hard time starting? The silver or the black? Oh. Both? Yeah. Stop. Now that again. Crank uh, position next time. Open the contact without starting it. Close it. Open it, and it primes the, it primes the, the fuel tank, uh, the the fuel pump. Okay. It gets because the fuel's not getting to the motor, so you gotta prime it. Do it two three times, and then the car just starts. That was crazy, bro. That was the hardest one I ever had. Yeah, for sure. That was a mission. This bitch is low as fuck, bro. Look at the front. You already cracked the off. Yeah, so when we saw that, it was like probably from pulling down. Yeah. From Japan, 6 old SL60. Let's leave. Got this delivery of two cars. And we got the Koenig Special. That's what we're driving right now. And then we got the SL60 coming behind us, taking it over to the shop to get them cleaned up. But right now we're just we're cruising, taking it through the library because the hood latch was, I guess, zip tied uh, back, so the hood won't latch. It. <laughs> 